the story so far arjun leaves indraprastha and spends his years of exile in the himalayas he meets ulupi and spends his time with her he soon realizes that he wants to see more of bharatvarsh arjun leaves ulupi and reaches the kingdom of manalur in manalur arjun marries chitrangada who bears him a son arjun realizes that it is time for him to leave thus arjun leaves manalur and continues his travel Arjun traveled through harsh lands and visited all the shrines and ashrams that came his way. After traveling for days, Arjun finally reached Prabhasa, the city which lay at the outskirts of the kingdom of Dwarka. When Krishna heard of Arjun's arrival, he went to meet him at Prabhasa. They embraced each other with joy. Krishna and Arjun spent a few days together at the Rivataka mountain. Together, they feasted and engaged in revelry. During their stay Arjun told Krishna all about his adventures and his visits to the shrines Krishna told Arjun that all his experiences were destined to happen One of the reasons for Arjun's visit to Dwarka was to confess his feelings about Krishna's sister Subhadra Stories of Subhadra's untold beauty and elegance had aroused curiosity in Arjun who was determined to marry her Krishna however was not unaware of Arjun's feelings towards Subhadra thus when Arjun confessed his feelings towards Subhadra and sought his permission to marry her Krishna happily agreed however there was a problem Krishna told Arjun that his alliance with Subhadra might anger Balram since he had planned for Subhadra to be wedded to Duryodhan seeking Balram's consent for the marriage might be difficult Krishna devised a plan for Arjun. A well-known custom among Kshatriyas was to abduct the girl and marry her. Krishna thus asked Arjun to make Subhadra fall in love with him and then abduct her. Having agreed on the plan, Krishna and Arjun set forth towards Dwarka. Arjun had disguised himself as a sanyasi so as to keep suspicions away. At Dwarka, Arjun met Balram. Balram who was fond of entertaining saints and hermits was extremely happy upon meeting Arjun. He even arranged for his stay and for Subhadra to serve him so that she would be blessed. This worked in favor of Arjun as he could now spend time with Subhadra. Over the coming weeks Arjun saw Subhadra every day as she would attend to his needs. With time the attraction between them grew. One day Subhadra confessed to Krishna her feelings towards the sanyasi. and told him that she wanted to marry him Krishna then revealed the truth to Subhadra saying that the sanyasi was none other than Arjun Subhadra was overjoyed upon learning that Arjun had come to Dwarka for the purpose of marrying her knowing very well that Balram would not approve of Arjun and Subhadra's union Krishna told Arjun to abduct Subhadra on the day of the festival which would be held at the Rivataka hill As planned on the day of the festival Krishna arranged for a chariot Arjun mounted the chariot and headed straight towards Subhadra who was surrounded by her relatives He pulled Subhadra into the chariot and raced out of the gates Before anybody could reach them they had already escaped The long journey had taken its toll on their appearance. By now they had grown long beards and looked like sanyasis. My clingy girlfriend. Mafia queens of Mumbai. Seven secrets from Hindu calendar art. Brought to you as a video book. Only on Epicast.